Day two, Forza Fuel. A little bit of a late start this morning from Genoa. Convoy left maybe 45 minutes ahead of us. We caught up to them on some of the fast toll roads and we're just getting to the base of the mountains. Now we're getting to some of the most epic roads, really. I mean, these are like the most epic roads in the world. We're gonna go over 10,000 feet today, but then when you get to these switchbacks that climb up these crazy mountain passes, it's awesome. I am blown away by this part of the world. Never been here before, so it's all new to me, but I'm loving it. Pretty much the end of day two, which was a road trip transit day. You know, everybody went the long way so we could go up over the mountain. But we kind of hauled ass and we went to a city I've always wanted to see, Monaco. And the Formula One race is probably what this town is best known for and for maybe a tax break for billionaires. But it is amazing, well worth the visit. Now we're on to Cannes, which is a few hours away. Uh, we're going to do the second challenge tomorrow. So it's been an amazing day of driving, frankly. I could do, it's very therapeutic to drive by yourself and just haul ass and I've been loving it. So a couple more hours and we're to the hotel. For challenge number two, it's a bizarre place, okay? So a Chinese guy who has a model company has bought himself a castle in France and built himself a racetrack. Pretty epic. That aside, the challenge is about taking this Seat rally car around the track. The driver's gonna drive the actual car. The gamers are gonna drive a similar track on the game and then they combine their scores to see who's fastest. This is a sketchy track. I laid down a time earlier that they've gotta to try to beat. I'm not gonna say what it is because they can hear me here, but it's easy to go off this track. So let's just hope there's cameras in the right spot. The drivers themselves, there's like a pretty big variety. I think Tom is gonna to be quick out here because he's a uh, circuit racer who's used to driving in a really clean way with a front drive type car. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think we've got a good shot. Mike's good on the game and I'm confident I can do a good time in the car. I'm wrapped. I'm done. That's it for me here. I've got to catch a flight out of Marseille, France, and then it's on to Seattle. We're going to have a ton of fun with Microsoft and Xbox, so I need to find my luggage and get out of here. Out here in Seattle, no better way to get inspired to go to work at turn 10 and design cars than to actually drive a badass car. we got a 610 horsepower Huracan. My kind of fun. So today we're taking some tours. We're at a couple different parts of Microsoft. Right now we're actually at Turn 10, which is a developer for Forza Motorsport 5 and also for Horizon 2. It's one thing to cruise around the office and see, you know, screens and cool memorabilia and racing helmets and, you know, you get a vibe that there are car people here. But it's another thing once you sit down at the desk and you see the world that they're working in and how detailed it is. I mean, we were looking at a track of Prague. I'm sure there's mountains of data that they chew over. But then physically take a team there, the laser scanners, and they scan the thing at night, get every surface nearly perfect. But the fact that they have such attention to detail, it's mind boggling. So I'm sitting down with Julian, who's a designer here. 
I mean, I can't draw a stick figure to save my life, but these guys have computers to do all the work. How hard can it be? That's hideous. If you actually left me alone with this for a while, I would completely ruin it. Okay, in hindsight, designing the cars is a little, I mean, it's a little more tricky than you might think. In my world, they'd all be chrome and diamond plate, apparently. But, um, I mean, that was fun. Now, for the good stuff, I get to go driving and actually talk to some of the engineers about the hardcore physics. We'll see how close reality is to the game. So I'll take any feedback that you've got you know, from how this car feels, the audio sound, uh, how the steering wheel feels. The engineers are so switched on to wanting to know what they're, like if you go, oh, that, if you make a reaction, they're like, what, 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 what was it? Did it skid? What did it, you know, they want to know exactly what you felt that might be a little different because maybe in real life they haven't been in that car on that particular track. Like there, at first you got a feeling of oversteer and then it kind of recovered, kind of like a GTR would where it starts to pull the front to the outside. I could spend a week here dug into one of these consoles. I only drove four different types of cars. There are still, what, like 200 left? So, no time like the present, I guess. Maybe one more lap. You guys never hear that, do you? <laughs> We're uh, back on the main campus where Xbox is based, and we have a car fair going on. We have Lamborghinis and three race cars here. So it's pretty cool, get to meet a lot of people, do an autograph signing, and people are already lining up. So they're definitely into their cars. It's been actually a very cool week eye-opening experience you know our integration with Forza it seems like you just see a sticker on the car and everything but partnerships like this with Xbox and Forza uh, are incredible and and the future's bright with them.